This otherwise indicated all the following scripture quotations are taken from the Holy Bible New Living Translation, was copied at the Tyndale House Foundation, used by permission of Tyndale House Publishers, all rights reserved. So apparently some people don't want to have kids at their wedding, and here's why. This is why you don't bring babies to a wedding. Pie, welcome back to my channel. Today we are checking out some kids doing some fun things at weddings and um, yeah, I think it's very really interesting and personally, I think that kids should be allowed at weddings because I think that if you want to make a whole theatrical shebang, then you got to be prepared for people to do things that are unexpected, but that's neither here nor there. Welcome to my channel, welcome to this video as well, and I think we should get to it, but stick till the end because I have got a solution to having kids at your wedding. Can I just say that that was freaking adorable, <laughs> so cute, he tried so hard and also he went back for the pants, That's, that took some bravery right there, <laughs> I think it was really cute and I think that people are so hard on kids at the, having kids at their wedding, they're really against it because they want things to go so perfectly but if everything went so perfectly you wouldn't have these beautiful little moments that you could sit back in like a couple years with your spouse and your family members and they could be like, hey, remember when this kid who is now 17 was at your wedding and then they the pants fall off and everyone can laugh about it? <laughs> that will unite them as husband and wife. <laughs> <laughs> Have a nice fall. <laughs> Thanks, Peyton. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed in the adults in this one. I mean, like, surely one person could have just left what they were doing and, like, picked him up after he fell. Like, it wouldn't have destroyed the whole wedding and everything. Everybody's already been sitting around for ages just to hear you say two words. And you can't stop for one second to pick up the kid. Also, the guy, like, ever grateful. That was so cringe, dude. And now that's immortalized. This is great. Why don't we have kids at our weddings more? I love this stuff. Our son wondering what daddy was doing. That kid is a little bit young for that kind of talk. <laughs> I mean, in all seriousness, that, I bet that was exciting for everyone involved. <laughs> okay, let's check out one more. Always hope, and it endures through every circumstance. And the Bible says these three remain: faith, hope, and love. But the greatest thing. Hey man, oh me. Ah, kids are the best. <laughs> I love that they're so unpredictable. I, I love that it's um sometimes it really sucks but i love that they're unpredictable because it makes for a lot of fun times there will be times when you'll be so upset with your kid you just want to blow a fuse and then your kid will do something and you can't now blow off but it's it's wonderful it's such a it, it's such a strange dichotomy <laughs> that you exist in to have a kid or to be around kids a lot because you learn so much from them and like it's very funny but anyway so for we go on to our scripture of the day. 
I was thinking that the solution to having kids at your wedding could be something like this, right? Let's say you have an evening side wedding, right? Like your wedding starts, your ceremony starts at like maybe five o'clock in the afternoon. And then what you do is once the ceremony is done and uh, people are eating, whatever done eating, you have as many activities as you can for the kids to wear them out. So like jumping castles, clowns, whatever it is any sort of activities that are going to wear them down because it's close to the evening time when they're going to go sleep and so they are going to fall asleep positively or probably like relatively easily and then you can have like your formal more formal ceremony if you have a space for the kids to just take like a huge space for them to just take a nap and then have like a camera thing so the parents can just take a look at their phones and be like okay my kids okay my kids surviving or whatever something like that you know so like a hotel room or something a space where the kids can just relax and let the parents know where they are and then you can have like your formal ceremony and the kids won't interfere or they're not going to misbehave and all that kind of stuff and you can still have people that you want to have at your wedding who have kids it's it's just a thought but anyway why don't you just let me know what your thoughts are you can leave them in the comments and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for your scripture of the day your scripture of the day comes from psalm 48 verse 3 which says god himself is in jerusalem's towers revealing himself as its defender okay well that's it from me why don't you let me know in the comments if you would like to have kids at your wedding what do you think about having kids at your wedding and if you've got a wedding horror story that includes kids, I am absolutely here for that. So thank you so much for joining me and I hope that you have an absolutely phenomenal day further because you absolutely deserve it. Cheers!